I want to find the limit as this approach, as u approaches one. Uh, in this instance, if u approaches one, it ends up being zero over zero, which is indeterminate. So what I'm going to do instead is um, I do some funkiness here. Um, what I can do is I can pull a two out of here. And when I do that, um, well, what I can do first is is um, pull a two out of one of, uh, out of two of these. And so like if I have three of these, I just need to explain this so you don't get confused. So I pull out a two, if I pull out a two, it just becomes U minus one. So if I pull out a two out of two of these, I get four. So I get four out in front. So I get three U plus four, and then I get two U minus two. And I need to keep one of these here because if I do a u minus one, it just goes to zero. And then I have a u minus one squared here. And then the denominator, I got the u minus one squared here. So that's why I did it. So I'm left with the limit as u approaches one, um, three u plus four times two u minus two. So if I plug in u now, I get three plus four, so I get seven times, um, 2u minus 2. I think that's just 0. Yeah, well, never mind. <laughs> 2 times 0 minus 2. Um, or, two min or 2 times 1. So I get 7 times 0, so I get 0 out. So my limit as u approaches 1 is just 0. That's it. Thanks for watching.